Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishker, for Angel Cartel sites I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Retribution. While certainly not the most efficient, this ship performs well enough in this site. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures do not have a DED difficulty rating, and instead have a chance of escalating to a short story-based expedition. The Angel Watch is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.8 and lower throughout Minmatar space. This site has a decent potential for either a faction spawn or an escalation, either of which may lead to high-value loot drops. Only up to Battlecruiser-class ships will be allowed into the site. As soon as you land on the acceleration gate, an opening message will appear. Previous explorers have commented that one of the gates requires a passkey. Alternatively, it can be bypassed by convincing the commander to unlock it. The overseer guards the drug farm vigorously. You must activate the gate to enter the first room of the site. In the first room, you'll conveniently land on top of the acceleration gate to the next room. Way out in front of the gate is a group of Angel Cartel NPCs, consisting of six frigates, three advanced frigates, and a cruiser named the Gistum Communications Officer. The acceleration gate to the next room is locked. The incoming damage in this site can be quite extreme, so you'll want to be prepared. A ship like the Retribution relies on its high explosive and kinetic resists, along with its speed tank. Attacking the Communications Officer will spawn three new groups of Angel Cartel NPCs. The first two groups consist of two destroyers each, spawning near their own rock formation flanking the Acceleration Gate. The third group is a single Gistum Communications Officer a ways in the back. Attacking this second Communications Officer will spawn three more groups of Angel Cartel NPCs. The first group is a single frigate near an asteroid colony. The second group is below the gate, consisting of two destroyers and two advanced frigates. The third group is a ways off to the left of the gate, consisting of two destroyers and two cruisers. Among the destroyers is a third Gistum Communications Officer. Attacking this third Communications Officer spawns two more groups of Angel Cartel NPCs. The first group is way off to the right of the gate, consisting of three frigates and four destroyers. Among the destroyers is yet another Gistum Communications Officer. The second group is way off to the left, consisting of four frigates and four cruisers. Attacking this fourth Communications Officer spawns another large group of Angel Cartel NPCs way behind the gate. This group consists of four frigates, four destroyers, and a cruiser named the Gistum Militant Commander. Destroying the Militant Commander unlocks the acceleration gate to the next room. You can actually avoid fighting the majority of the NPCs, instead taking a single potshot at each communications officer as they spawn. Alternatively, the entire exercise of taking potshots at each communications officer can also be avoided, if you have the passkey mentioned in the opening message. This turns out to be an Angel Silver Tag. If you have a Silver Tag in your cargo hold, you can simply activate the gate to the second room as soon as you land. The tag will be consumed. In the second room, you'll land in front of a Gist drug farm and a bundle of other structures. A message will appear in local chat as you enter the room, suggesting the drug farm may be a key target. The area is initially guarded by five separate groups of Angel Cartel NPCs, forming a wide circle around the central structures. Each group consists of up to two destroyers and a missile battery. Roughly three minutes after entering the room, a large group will spawn off to the right of the landing beacon, near a series of bunkers. This group consists of six frigates and three cruisers. About six minutes after entering the room, another group with the same makeup will spawn to the left of the landing beacon, near another series of bunkers. Yet another group with the same makeup will spawn about nine minutes after entering the room, surrounding the structures behind the Gist drug farm. You can actually avoid fighting all of these NPCs, and instead take a potshot at the drug farm. This will spawn the commander group way out behind the large stalagmite. This group consists of five advanced frigates and a cruiser named the Gistum Militant Supervisor. Destroying the Supervisor has a chance of escalating to the Nuclear Small Arms Project Expedition. If you're lucky, destroying the Supervisor may also spawn a Domination NPC in a frigate. 
The Domination NPC will always drop a Domination Copper Tank, and 1,000 rounds of either Archangel or Domination Small Projectile Ammunition. If you're even more lucky, he may also drop a Domination Module, a Halo or Savior Implant, or a single run blueprint copy for a Dramule. Triggering the escalation will bring up a message. Your instruments suddenly flash a string of emergency messages. A transport ship connected to this station is reporting a malfunction and provides its location. In the first encounter of the expedition, you'll land above the large ruins. A strong stasis tower a ways ahead will webify you straight away. It's flanked by four heavy missile batteries, each guarded by its own Angel Cartel NPCs. Three of these will be cruisers, while the fourth is a Domination Frigate. Attacking each of the heavy missile batteries triggers an extra group of Angel Cartel NPCs to spawn. Each of these groups will consist of up to four destroyers and up to four cruisers. The group from the top left missile battery spawns to the left of the set of cargo rigs. The group from the bottom left missile battery spawns a ways behind the landing beacon. The group from the bottom right missile battery spawns to the right of the set of cargo rigs. And the group from the top right missile battery spawns even further behind the landing beacon. You can bypass all of these fights by focusing solely on the stasis tower and domination frigate. I seem to be rather unlucky in my escalations, as none of the domination NPCs dropped any loot beyond faction ammo and tanks. But I believe they may drop a domination module, a halo or savior implant, or a single run blueprint copy for a Dramule. Destroying the Stasis Tower has a chance of escalating to the second encounter of the expedition. All of a sudden, your instruments flash a string of messages. A transport ship connected to this station is reporting a malfunction, and gives this location. In the second encounter of the expedition, you'll land next to a transport ship in a sparse asteroid field. A message appears as soon as you land. The broken down mammoth in the area seems to be submitting strange radio waves perhaps if you interacted with it in some way. Attacking the Mammoth spawns a group of Angel Cruiser-sized drones. They only remain in the area for about 10 seconds before warping away. If you're lucky, this triggers the escalation to the third encounter of the expedition. It looks like you were not the only one to pick up the distress call from that transport. And luckily enough, your instruments got a lock on the ship that warped out. After a few milliseconds of number crunching, your navigation computer comes up with this location as its most probable destination. If you stick around the area for another minute or so, a group of Angel Cartel NPCs will appear near the Mammoth. This group consists of three destroyers, six battlecruisers, and a Domination Frigate. In the third encounter of the expedition, you'll land a long ways away from a large station guarded by a sizable group of Angel Cartel NPCs. This group consists of seven advanced frigates, eight cruisers, and a battlecruiser named the Angel Drone Controller. A Domination NPC and a destroyer will be among them. There are also six sentry towers with long enough range to hit you beyond 200 kilometers. The Arch Gisty frigates will hit you with strong target painters, causing you to take a rather extreme amount of damage before you can close range enough to engage. If you're lucky, simply sticking around for about 15 seconds may trigger the escalation to the fourth and final encounter of the expedition. Your calculations were a bit off, but luckily you managed to get another reading before the Angel ship warped out. In the final encounter of the expedition, you'll land above a large station guarded by five separate groups of Angel Cartel NPCs. Just above the station is a secret Angel facility, which will immediately hit you with a strong stasis webifier. Each group consists of three destroyers and three battlecruisers. Damaging the secret Angel facility will trigger another group of Angel Cartel NPCs to spawn near it. This group includes three advanced frigates that will hit you with strong target painters. Destroying the secret Angel facility will prompt the closing message of the expedition. It looks like you have managed to destroy a facility developing one of the hottest new commodities in the galactic underworld, the nuclear small arms. As far as you know, none of these new weapons have hit the market yet. But from the look of this place, it is not long until common criminals will go nuclear. You can't help wondering what is wrong with the good old sawed-off shotgun. If you want to engage in the fight, you can try to stay outside the 25km range of the Secret Angel facility to avoid being webified. 
Otherwise, you could just take out the facility, bookmark the container, warp off, and come back in a few minutes for the loot. I was unlucky in my single run of the final encounter, but I suspect the facility may drop one or more Gisty A-type Dead Space modules, or a blueprint copy for a Dramule. It did drop a large bundle of prototype nuclear small arms. My understanding is that the final encounter will normally spawn in a low security system, but I was lucky enough to have it spawn in high security space. If you're looking to run your encounter in low security, be aware that other players can use combat probes to find you. A ship like the Retribution, fit with beam lasers, is capable of running the site in a little under 10 minutes, when ignoring the NPCs that are unnecessary to complete the site. Bypassing the first room with an Angel Silver Tag can cut this down to about 3 minutes. Tactical destroyers, faction cruisers, or heavy assault cruisers are all likely better suited for this site, and are certainly much better suited for the escalation. I chose to fly a Sacrilege for my final encounter, and would recommend it for both the site and the entire escalation. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the loot drops for 15 Angel Watch sites. Over this period, 11 spawned a Domination Pirate, and 5 escalated to the Nuclear Small Arms Project Expedition. Of the 11 Domination NPCs that spawned in the Angel Watch site itself, 2 dropped something beyond the Faction Ammo and Tag. The Nuclear Small Arms Project Expedition can escalate up to four times, and every encounter seems to be guaranteed to spawn a Domination Pirate. Through my five escalations, I had a total of ten encounters, and unfortunately for me, none of these dropped anything beyond the Faction Ammo and Tag. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Minimitar space, you can also probe down other unrated sites like the Angel Hideout, Lookout, or Vigil. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Garistas, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020 with a similar 13 part series for Serpentis combat sites. More recently, I completed a similar guide for high security Garistas combat sites. If you find yourself in Glent or Caldari space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Thanks for making it to the very end, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.